I'd like to pick up some comments that you've left. Uh, Nick Cruz, Campbell, unpleasant manner telling realistic truths. Uh, Phillips, pleasant manner telling gaslighting lies. Uh, there's really a debate to be had about this interview. No, the content of the interview, not at all. The manner of the interview, absolutely. Um, Simon Barn uh, Barnford, is it? Or Simon Banford, sorry. I cannot agree that Campbell was aggressive. She was playing thick. I'm afraid uh, Alex Phillips' arguments were very, very um, lightweight and Campbell's were very sound. But Campbell, I'm afraid, got annoyed and it showed and he was abusive. Uh, and in fact, I was horrified. Uh, I, 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 I don't think this is about the content of the argument uh, or, or indeed um, what was being uh, discussed. It's about the way it was discussed. Uh, Colin Thompson also says, respectfully disagree <laughs> with me on this subject. I, I watched Alex Campbell brought a knife to a gun sh to a gunfight. She preached Brexit revisionist history and couldn't defend her position. She absolutely couldn't. Mr. Campbell, Mr. Campbell is very smart on any subject he takes on. Absolutely. Um, and, and in fact, he's just written a book, which I've got a copy of, and it's a superb book. In fact, I will review it. Um, and he talks in the book about uh, the advent of of lying as part of the political debate. And um, given given the chapter on lying, I think he should have been more prepared for this level of stupidity on the part of Alex Phillips. But that doesn't um, uh, that isn't an excuse for the level of abuse and the aggression that he pursued he should have he should have put forward his case much more calmly he would have had time and i'm afraid to then go on to attack the bbc is inappropriate um it's uh, he was just angry i understand why he was angry but he was angry and you know i i would like to see a sound debate from both sides i think it is time after 7 years it is time to hear why the Brexit side thinks they got it right. Because I still haven't seen uh, serious Brexit advantages. Somebody pointed out um, that people in the, in the haulage industry are now being paid twice what they were paid before Brexit. I think that's, uh, uh, that's remarkable and congratulations. I don't think that's an advantage which is played out across the entire economy. And um, I, I think I think that some I, if some people have found an advantage and are, and are being paid more post Brexit, that's tremendous. But I don't think um, that's routine. I think for the most part, people are finding that they are less well off post Brexit than they were pre Brexit. And uh, and at the same time, I think it is time for people like Campbell to um, advance the case that. The um, that there have to be alternatives to Brexit. He has tried to suggest that the Labour Party should put forward a proposal that in the new Labour Party government there would be a rediscussion of Brexit with Europe and a realignment if necessary. I think that might be the right uh, the, the right approach, um, but not to do it by stealth. If, it, if it's going to be there, it needs to be in the manifesto. And I think uh, a good number in the country will probably welcome that. And that might be decisive in the election. I think, on the other hand, there is still time to make Brexit work. Not get Brexit done, but to make it work. I think the, uh, the Conservative Party, in the remaining time it's got, should demonstrate that Brexit can actually put money in people's pockets and can make people more secure as opposed to less secure. And I think that's less about the small boats because the legislation which we're putting out is unlikely to work. I'm, I'm afraid I, I, I'm, I'm in the pocket of the Archbishop of Canterbury on this one. Uh, I think the way forward with the small boats is to convene an international conference and to deal with this internationally. And I think having left Europe, we are in a position to field 
and head an international conference, just as we just as we did when the 1951 Refugee Convention was defined. We led the way there, we can lead the way again. And that would be a, a suitable testament to Brexit. It's something we probably couldn't have done uh, as a member of Europe. We would simply be um, leading a European debate about migration. And indeed, Europe, Europe already had that debate and already had its conclusion, which was the Dublin Protocol, which actually doesn't work. So the Dublin Protocol uh, unfairly uh, targets the poorer countries in the south, like Greece, Italy, Spain, and they shoulder the burden of migration. That's unfair when the richer countries in the north uh, have far fewer m migrants and asylum seekers arriving at their shores to seek migration. There has to be a better way. And as we're now out of Europe, we can start that debate, and we should.